we just saw that that thomson was able to calculate the e upon m ratio but but these were intertwined and we were not able to separate them right we would also like to know what the charge is and what the mass is individually now knowing either of them would have solved our problem and that is where millikan came in and conducted one of the most famous experiments called the millikan's oil drop experiment to determine to experiment to to determine what the charge on an electron was so the moment he was able to tell the tell the charge immediately the the mass also came to be known right from the e upon m ratio and we, and we had seen that this ratio was something like 1.75 88 20 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg right now he he did an ingenious thing milikan did an ingenious thing while designing his experiment and and the the apparatus that he used was something like this okay so so the apparatus that he used was something like this so i've zoomed in for you to see the apparatus was was this okay so so what he did was this is an atomizer so this is an atomizer right so so he took some oil he took some oil here and and, and this was actually moving into into this like this through this pipe so that when he pressed this rubber thing the oil came from here got atomized became very small small droplets and moved here now in from this chamber through the small hole this the oil dropped down this is one of the drops of the oil right now he tried to induce some charge on it right how this is an x ray source x rays right this is an x ray source so the moment you flash an x ray here the rays are so powerful that they are able to ionize the gaseous atoms right and as this droplet droplet collides with those gaseous ions this also gets charged understand now this plate and this the plate here and the plate there they are this is this is 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 positively charged and this is negatively charged right this is positively and this is negatively charged so that there is an electric field acting from the upper blue plate and pointing downwards understand and pointing downwards now what happens to the force on this since this is negatively charged and we have been discussing this electron this yellow electron which i have kind of colored purple now that will face a force in the upward direction do you see that this will be the electric electric field that it will be ex experiencing understand now there is already the electrical force that it will be experiencing and there is already the there is already the the gravitational force acting on this in the downward direction and that is equal to mg correct now the whole aim of the experiment was 
was to balance the gravitational force with the help of the electrical force. Understand? The the whole the whole force was sought to be balanced. Okay? So the moment moment the whole thing kind of was stationary. He could make it stationary by by altering the field between these two plates. Right? This field could be altered. Right? So what he did was what he did was was held it stationary and then with the help of this micrometer he was with, with this telescope he was able to measure the dia of this oil drop of the oil drop the moment you get the dia of this oil drop you also get to know the volume of it 4 by 3 pi r cube if you get the volume you also get the mass multiplying it by density correct so you understand you understand the whole plan so i am now kind of zooming out of this okay and and am and am trying to replicate the whole thing out here so so there is an oil drop right there's an oil drop on which there is a gravitational force acting downward this is equal to mg and we have we have adjusted our adjusted our electric field in such a manner that this electrostatic force on this just balances the gravitational force right so let us try to understand he he measured he measured r so he got mass therefore mass of an oil drop mass of an oil drop becomes what this becomes 4 by 3 pi r cube into the density of the oil right that is the mass this is your mass and and you are able to apply say, say whatever be the charge I still don't know what the charge is so the force will be this correct and I know this I know this I know this now what happens I try to balance them out Q is equal to mg so I'll be able to find out the so I'll be able to find out the charge right so Q is equal to mg by E I know this I know this from here and I know the, the acceleration due to gravity so I'll be able to get this okay now you'll be bewildered what kind of Q you'll get right but then and that's what we say the fortune favors the brave when he did that there was an astounding observation that he got whatever he did okay and however long the experiment was there was something that was amazing about it that the charge that he got that he that the charge that he got was was always in all cases the in all cases the charge that he got was an integral multiple of of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Okay, it was it was that whatever he did, however long the experiment was conducted, whatever was done. Let me be a bit bit more more precise. So so what happened was. This was actually 1.6022 to 
into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb in time scale. Right? So maybe sometimes you got 10 times this, sometimes you got 8 times this, sometimes you got 6 times this, but always it was a multiple of that. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means that you cannot get a charge lesser than this. Right? You cannot get a charge lesser than this. And since we are talking about a fundamental particle that is that is not divisible, it was concluded that the minimum charge, the charge that was being carried by the electron must be minus 1.6022 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Right? This was the charge that must be there on the electron. Now the moment you take this and and the moment I take this and plug it in, plug it in the E upon M value that we got here, you immediately get, get the mass of the particle and the mass of the electron came out to be 9.1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Get that? And for this remarkable experiment, it looks to be so very simple, but it revealed so much for us that that Millikan was awarded the Nobel Prize. Right? And he deserved every bit of it. Even though the experiment looks to be pretty elemental, but it is not. Just try to understand. Just, just visualizing that he'll go this way and how he'll induce charge and how he'll measure it that took him about eight years of conception and fine-tuning of this experiment before he landed up with his result and this is considered one of the most significant most significant things to be known by human beings right